Okay, any pains or injuries before we start? Good, okay. All right, good day everyone. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through ubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video. Um, today's class is um, Intermediate Advanced Lab. It is uh, level two, level three. Please make sure that if you're working with any kind of special conditions or limitations that you do modify or skip posts altogether. Uh, being mindful about your movement so that you don't create any injuries or perpetuate any injuries. All right, so you have to make some good decisions. If your hips are tight, please elevate and sit up on a block or some blankets. Otherwise, a comfortable cross-legged position and let the palms face up. Fingers come to Gyana Mudra, thumb index fingers touching. Grounding evenly through your seat, elongate through your spine, and start to let your inhales even out with your exhales. Three ohms together, inhale. Ah. closed. Hands together in prayer on front of the heart, pressing the thumbs into your heart, heart back into the thumbs, lifting the heart up toward the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart, chanting the mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga, call and response, Om Mapavitraha, Om Mapavitraha, Pavitrava, Pavitrava, Sarva Vushtan, Sarva Vushtan, Katopiwa, Katopiwa, Yaha Smarit, Yaha Smarit, Pundrikaksham, Pundrikaksham, Sapahya, Sapahya, Bihyendraha, Bihyendraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes and let the palms face up again. Fingers come back to Gyana Mudra. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Elongate through the left side of the neck. Chin toward the right shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the right hand, left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. Chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side, roll it back, opposite side, roll the center. A few more rounds at your own pace. Take the chin back toward the chest and pause. And then taking the opposite direction. And chin back toward the chest. Lift the chin parallel to the floor and your spine, extending the legs forward, separating your feet. And then turning your toes toward each other and then roll them out. Draw in, roll out. Draw in, outer rotation, circling. Come back to center, switch them around, inner rotations.
and back to center again. Cross your shins, but take the opposite shin on top, non-dominant crossing of the legs. Inhale, raise the arms up high and extend. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to your left. Back to center. Side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Take back up, other side. Take it back up now. Let the hands come back behind you, outer rotations. Walk the hands slightly back, lift your chest, broaden your shoulders, gently looking up for back bend. Come back to neutral, extend the legs forward, exhale, forward fold, grabbing your feet, ankles, or your shin. And start to release. Take the left leg, reach your left heel toward the corner of the mat on the left side, step the right foot down to the floor, pointing your right toes out at an angle. So think about roughly 90 degrees with your legs and your heels should be about a foot, foot and a half, two feet away from you, depending on your height and pivot to your heel. Take both hands to your left leg and then make sure that the right arm does not obstruct your right leg, okay? So you're gonna roll the right knee forward, roll the right knee back, roll the right knee forward, roll the right knee back, roll forward, roll back two more times, roll forward, Roll back, roll forward, roll back. Keep rolled back, plant your left palm to the floor, right hand gently pressing your right inner thigh away from you for the hip opener. Start to release, draw the right heel in. Press your left hand to the inside of the left leg, right arm overhead and then side bending. Take it back up, twist to the right. Then ground the right palm to the floor, stepping on the top of the right shin, lift up and extend the left arm back in space. Release, take the seat back down, square back to center. Draw the right heel back behind you. And again, try to get to about 90 degrees. Left hand to the floor, right arm is up, inhale, exhale, drawing forward, forward folding. Take it back up, step the right foot down again, left hand behind you, lift and extend. Take the seat back down, extend the right leg forward, separate your feet about mat swift, inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold, grabbing the insides of the heels or the inside of the legs. Relengthen your spine, exhale, forward fold. And start to release, make your way back up. Keep the right leg as is. It should be pointing toward the corner of the mat on the right side. Step the left foot down and then turning your left toes out. So again, try to get 90 degrees and move the heel about a foot and a half or two feet away from you, pivot to the heel. Hands to either side of the right leg. Roll the left knee forward, roll the left knee back. Roll the left knee forward, roll back. Roll forward, roll back, roll forward. Roll back, one more, roll forward, roll back. Plant your right palm down, left hand, pressing your inner left thigh away from you. And release, draw the left heel in. Press your right hand to inside the right leg, extend the left arm out and overhead and side bending over your right leg.
release, take it back up, twist to the left. Then plant your left palm down, step on the right foot, lift up onto your left shin and reach your right arm back, extending. Take the seat back down, square back to center, draw the left heel back. So again, trying to get your legs 90 degrees or so. Right hand to your floor, left arm is up, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold forward. Release, take it back up, step the left foot down, walk your right hand back and lift. Release, take the seat back down, square back to center, legs forward. Let's take the legs a little bit wider. Hands back behind you, outer rotations. Inhale, lengthen, lift up, draw the shoulders back. Keep that slight back bend, press into your hands. Lead with the heart center forward, coming toward the forward fold. Now, once you get to your maximum, stay there. Take a few more breaths. And then if you feel you can make an adjustment, you can walk your hands forward, keep the chest lifting and crawl the hands forward and pancake toward the floor the best you can. All right, begin to walk your hands back in, lifting back up. Take the hands to your inner thighs above your knees. So, so feet together, knees apart, Baddha Konasana. And then start to pedal, I mean, um, butterfly your knees a little bit. All right, come back to stillness. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Now, first one, uh, the forward fold, try to keep a more neutral spine as you reach forward. You can press your elbows to your inner thighs for a little bit more hip opening. Release, take it back up, let the feet come forward a little bit more. This time you can grab the inner feet or thread the arms underneath. And then on the exhale, you can round your spine as much as you want. Start to release, make your way back up. Swing the legs back behind you, down dog, and start to pedal out the legs, walk it out side to side. All right, inhale, come forward into your plank. Tuck toed, up dog. Lower the hips a little bit as you lift your chest in opposition, taking a back bend with your tuck toes. And exhale, take it back to down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up, three legged dog. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose and round the spine. Inhale, kick up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside of the right arm in touch. Kick the back up. Knee comes into twist. Touch your left arm. Inhale, kick the back up. Stepping your right foot forward. Left knee comes down. Crescent moon. Walk your hands top of the thighs and lunge forward. Once you set up the base and you're ready, arms up. Venus mudra. Wrap the hands back behind you, interlace your fingers, broaden the chest. Release, hands to either side of the right foot, tuck the left toes under, pyramid. Bend the front knee, ground the back heel, warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior. 
Exhale, side angle. Take back up, reverse, warrior. Lengthen your right leg, triangle. Take back up, reverse, triangle. Bend front knee, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back, plank, lower all the way down, three progressive cobras. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower arms all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Full extension of your arms for Cobra, if you have it. And all the way down. Child's pose. Seat toward the heels and fold. Down dog. Inhale, left heel up, left knee in toward the nose, kick up, open up the hips, bend the left knee, left knee outside of the left arm in touch, kick back up, knee comes into twist, kick back up, step the left foot forward, crescent moon, right knee comes down, extra padding as you need, why don't you set your base, arms up, Venus Mudra. Wrap the hands back behind you, interlace, non-dominant interlacing of your hands. Release, hands to either side of left foot, pyramid. Bend the front knee, warrior one. Ground the back heel down and rise up. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse, warrior. Side angle. Inhale, come up, reverse. Length in the front leg for triangle. All the way back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, flank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, lower all the way down to the belly, progressive cobras. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower arms all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Lower arms all the way down. Lift up even higher for Bhujangasana if you have it. And hold it. Release. All the way down. Child's pose. Seat toward the heels. Down dog. Inhale. Right heel up. Exhale. Right knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside of the right arm in touch. Kick the back up and flip the dog. Flip the dog back, right leg up. Right knee comes into twist, touch your left arm. Kick it back up, fallen triangle. Right leg threads underneath and lift. Flip it back around, right leg up, three like a dog, stepping and right foot forward, crescent moon, left knee comes down. And take the arms up, Venus Mudra. Side bending, right arm, right leg, left arm overhead.
switch sides. Left hand down, right arm up. Right hand to right thigh, bend your left knee, grabbing the foot, mermaid one. Switch hand position, hand to the inside of the foot, slip that foot to your elbow crease, mermaid two. Release. Half split, tuck the left toes under, shift it back. So you wanna line up the hips over your left knee, flex your right foot for the uh, stretch of the back of the right leg. Step the right foot down, hands either side of the right foot, come to the low lunge. Reach your right hand forward, half moon. Now, why don't you connect with the half moon? Point the left toes, reach your left arm forward, parallel to the floor. So your left side gets really long from your left finger toes, the tip, left fingertips all the way through your left toes. Bend your left knee, binding. Taking just your left hand or taking both hands for your chapasana. Begin to step it back, ground the back heel, and come to warrior one. Wrap the hands back behind you, interlace, lift up, gaze up. Bow forward, devotional. Take it all the way back up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Extend it, side angle. Half bind, left arm up and behind you. Full bind, right arm underneath you. And then your choice here to release your binds and lengthen the front leg for a half bound triangle or lengthen out both legs with your bind for the fully bound triangle. Bend the front knee, release your binds. Inhale, come up. Reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back plank. Lower all the way down to the belly. Version two, progressive cobras. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra, and hold. Press into your hands, lift up a little bit higher. Press into your hands, lift up even higher. Lower all the way down, child's pose. Down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside of the left arm and touch. Kick it back up and flip the dog. Flip it back, left leg up, three-legged dog. Left knee comes into twist, touching your right arm. Kick it back up, fallen triangle. Left leg over to the right side and lift. Flip it back, left leg up, three-legged dog. Stepping, your left foot forward, crescent moon. Right knee comes down, set up your pose. Arms up when you're ready.
side bending, left arm, left leg, right arm overhead. Switch sides, right hand down, left arm overhead. Back to center, bend your right knee, grabbing the outside of the right foot for mermaid. Left arm up and back. Mermaid two, switch your hand positioning to the ends of the foot and then flip that foot to your elbow crease. Release, half split, tuck the right toes under, shift your hips over your right knee, vertical line with your thigh, flex your left foot to the back of the left leg stretch. On the inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Start to break, step the left foot back down for the low lunge. Then reach your left hand forward about a foot for your half moon. Once you connect with your half moon, point the right toes. Reach your right arm forward, parallel the, uh, the right arm to the floor, and reach your right fingertips forward, right toes back and out to the shin. When you're ready to break, step the right foot all the way back into warrior one. Ah, binding, thank you. Bend your right knee, grab the foot. Chapasana, half variation, or the full variation with both hands. And now start to release as you step it back. Come to warrior one. Then wrap the hands back behind you. Other thumb on top, non-dominant interlacing of your hands. Lift up for your back bend. Then bow forward for your forward bend. Devotional warrior. Take it all the way back up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Extended side angle. Half bind, right arm up and behind you. Full bind, left arm underneath you. So again, you can stay here in the fully bound triangle and lengthen out the left leg. Or you can release your bind and just keep a half bind as you take your triangle. Then start to bend your left knee again, release your bind. Inhale, come up, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale on breath, lower all the way down on the exhale. Version two of your progressive cobra. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Press into your hands, lift up a little bit higher. Press into your hands, lift up even higher, Bhujangasana. Release all the way down. Child's pose, feet toward the heels and fold. Down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose. Now, as you kick the right leg up, you're gonna bend your left knee as a spring and you're gonna jump three times. As you raise your right leg up, bend your left knee and then hop three times. Right knee comes in, bend your left knee as you kick up and hop. Right knee comes in, as you extend, bend your left knee and hop. Good. 
three like a dog. Open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee to outside the right arm and touch. Stay there with your arms extended or three push-ups. Bend the elbows, press back up. Bend the elbows, press back up. Bend the elbows, press back up. Kick the right leg up, open up the hips, bend the right knee and flip. Stay in the flip dog or vashisthasana side plank. Pick up the right foot, right hand to right knee or yogic toe lock and extend. Flip it back, right leg up, right knee comes into twist. Kick it back up, fall in triangle, right leg out to your side, left arm up. All right, so you're gonna uh, raise your left arm up as you draw the seat slightly down and then lift back up and extend. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Left hand to the floor, three push-ups. Bend and press, bend and press, bend and press. Kick the right leg up, three-legged dog. Stepping, he rises forward, crescent moon. Uh, mermaid one, revolve position. Right hand to bind to the left foot. Reach your left arm back. Then take the left hand to the floor. Turn the right toes out at an angle. Ground the left palm and twist deeper. Keep the bind, square your torso. As you draw the left heel in, fold forward, maybe your forehead touching down. Lift back up, take the twist again. Then release your left foot. Raise your right arm up and overhead, side stretch. Thread the needle, right arm underneath the left and twist. As you reach your right hand to your left side, bending of your left elbow will help you draw your shoulder and your chest toward the floor. Lift back up. Square back to center, turn the right toes forward, tuck the left toes under, shift back, half split. We're gonna work for the full split. So we're gonna take the preparation. So we're gonna uh, come forward and back, forward and back two times. So first, it's your hamstring stretch. Step the right foot back down. Walk your right foot forward a few more inches and lean forward. So you're now going deeper into the lunge. Shift back once again. Hamstring stretch. The next time you come forward is your full split or working toward the full split. So as you slide the right heel forward, also note that you can also draw the left knee back. Right heel forward, left knee back, and work your way into your split. And wherever you are, just hold on to that for a bunch of breaths. All right, start to ease your way out. So you're going to lift the feet, gently draw the right foot back, stepping your right foot down, taking a low lunge. Steady here in your low lunge first, then left hand stays down, right arm up to twist. Right hand behind you, half bind. Reach your 
Revolve Half Moon, left hand forward about a foot. Tip forward to balance. And then if you want to bind, right hand to your left foot. Revolve to Pasana. Airplane Warrior Three. Lift the torso up as you reach your left arm out to left side. Open up the left knee out to left side. So your left arm, left leg are like airplane wings, right? So they open to the left as you take a warrior three with your torso. Then start to release your left foot all the way back into warrior one. Wrap the right arm underneath your left for eagle arms. Lift up, gaze up. Exhale, bow forward. Up and down three times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow. Stay forward folding. Either touch your fingertips down or forearms down if you can manage. If that's not quite for you either, just stay hovering in space. Airplane, releasing your arms. Take the right shoulder underneath the right leg. Arms out to either side. You can stay there or take Kundiyasana 2. Arm balance, hands to your floor. Reach your right heel out to right side. Chaturanga your arms. Shift and balance. When you're ready, step it back to a low lunge. And then shift back for Skandasana squat. Once you steady your balance, hands together in prayer. Option to stay there or take the bind. And then let's forward fold over your right leg. Right hand to outside of the right foot, square over your right leg. Left thumb up, inhale, exhale, fold. So you're still um, squatting, right? So you're not sitting down just yet. You're still up with your seat, but you're folding over your right leg. Then start to release. Now go ahead and sit down and let's take the full skandasana. Right hand grabs your left ankle. Side bend toward the right leg, raise your left arm up and overhead and extend. Either just keep reaching your left hand or if you can bind, go ahead and bind. Start to release. Make your way back up. Two choices. Wrap the right arm around the left leg and twist. Or arm balance into Kundiyasana 1. Lifting your seat. Hook the right arm to left leg. Shift. And extend. Take back to center, counter twist. Option, draw the right heel in. Intersect the heel to the left ankle, and then it's like a one-legged crow to the left arm. And so you're intersecting a heel to your ankle, and then you're just arm balancing. So Simon, right? So it's just your inner left leg into the arm. So what you did was the regular side crow. I was doing intersecting heel to ankle, one arm, one leg. And then this other leg is just dangling, right? Okay? Just to clarify, try on the second side. All right, let's come back to the skandasana. Start to lift the seat. Make your way back forward. And through your warrior two reverse warrior, 
Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Sphinx. Forearms down, grab opposite elbows to measure our shoulders width, and then take the forearms back down to parallel. Press your belly and your lower ribs to the floor. Make, you, make sure your shoulders line up with the elbows, 90 degrees with the arms, and then lifting the chest in opposition. And lift the elbows up, elbows out to the side to lower your chest. Walk your hands back, child's pose, nice and slow. Lift up for camel pose. So um, your knees should be one fist distance apart. Tuck the toes under. Right, right hand to the right heel, left arm up and back. Take it back up, switch hands. Left hand, left heel, right arm up and back. Take it back up. Walk your hands forward, down dog. All right, three jumps. Inhale, left heel up, left knee in toward the nose. And as you extend the left leg back, you're gonna bend your right knee to wind it up and then hop. As you step the right foot down, left knee in toward the nose. As you kick the left leg up, bend your right knee, wind it up for a hop. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick the left leg back, bend your right knee, hop. Three-legged dog. Open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee out, stop the left arm in touch. Stay there with the arms extended or three push-ups. Bend and extend. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Now kick it back up, open up the hips, bend the left knee and flip. Once you flip, you can pick up the left foot for Vashistasana, left hand to left knee, or yogic toe lock, and extend. Release, flip it back, three-legged dog. Left knee comes into twist, kick back up, fallen triangle. Left leg over to the right side, raise your right arm up. And then as you lower your seat, reach your right arm up and to the back. Exhale, lift and reach. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Right hand comes to the floor. And then three push-ups. Bend, extend. Bend, extend. Bend, extend. Kick your left leg back up. Three-legged dog. Step the left foot forward, crescent moon. Right knee comes down, setting up with extra padding if you need. All right, revolved mermaid one. Left hand to the right foot. Right arm reaching up and back. So, um, Simon, you have to revolve to your left side. Then release your right hand down to the floor. Turn the left toes out and left thigh out at an angle. And then open up for the twist. Then start to square off your shoulders. Draw the right heel in toward the seat as you fold.
and start to release. Make your way back up. Uh, release your right foot. Raise your left arm up and overhead for the side stretch. And then thread the needle. Left arm underneath the right and twist. Lift back up, tuck the right toes under, turn the left toes back forward, and start to shift back into your half split once again. So these are preparations now for your full split. <clears throat> Step the left foot back down. Walk your left foot forward a few inches, and then you can lunge forward a little bit more, deepening your lunge. <clears throat> And then start to shift back, half split once again, a little bit deeper this time. So the next time you go forward, right? It's about moving the left heel forward, right knee back, left heel forward, right knee back, working your way toward your split. So when you're ready, slide the left heel forward, right knee draws back, left heel forward, right knee back. And shift away in toward your split. Hanumanasana, Hanumanasana. Alrighty, start to ease your way out by lifting the feet. Draw the left foot back. And then we're gonna work our way in toward a low lunge. Once you have your low lunge, right hand stays down. Left arm up to twist. Have find, left arm back behind you. Half bound, revolved half moon. Right hand forward about a foot. Tip forward and balance. And if you would like to bind for your revolved tupasana, left hand to the right foot and kick back. Airplane warrior three, lift the torso up slightly so you can free up your right arm to go out to the right side. Right knee also goes out to right side. So your right arm, right leg are like airplane wings, right? So airplane and the warrior three with your torso. And release, just step all the way back to warrior one. Eagle arms, wrap the left arm underneath your right. And lift the elbows up, gaze up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow forward. Stay forward folding, either hovering in space. If you can, touch your hands down. If you have even more range, you could be your forearms down. Start to release your arms for airplane. Arms uh, expand to either side, left shoulder, underneath your left leg. Either stay there in airplane or hands to your floor, Kundiyasana two. Kick your left leg out, Chaturanga arms, shift forward and pick up the back leg. When you're ready, step it back into the lunge. Skandasana squat, you're gonna shift back toward the right heel, flex your left foot. Once you're in balance, hands together in prayer. Stay there, or if you have the extension of the bind, take the bind.
Then forward folding over your left leg in your skandasana squat. So left hand to the floor, right arm up as you square the torso of your left leg, fold forward. So you're still hovering, right? You're not sitting down just yet. So this is to help you get deeper into the hips and the left hamstrings and the lower back. Start to release. Now sit all the way down, adjust as you need. Then it's the left hand grabbing the right ankle, side bending over your left leg. Reach your right arm overhead or bind the right hand to your left foot. Release, make your way back up. Keep the legs, you have two choices. Wrap the left arm around your right knee and just twist or lift up for Kundiyasana one. So as you lift up, it's your left arm that hooks to the outer right leg, hands to your floor. All right, start to shift it back, come back to center, counter twist to your left, either stay here or that variation on one leg crow. So you're gonna hook the left ankle on top of the right, uh, left heel on top of the right ankle. So that becomes a lock. Lift up, it's the right arm to the inner right knee and the left leg is dangling. As you lift, it's like a one leg crow variation. There you go, good. All right, start to release, extend the left leg back out. As you lift, make your way up and through your warrior two into reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, plank. In a one breath. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Sphinx pose. All right, this time, once you're set up, turn the right forearm in, 45 degrees, bend your right knee. Reach back with the left hand, grab the foot, and twist. Left hand, right foot. And then look past your left shoulder behind you. Somehow you guys got opposites, that's okay. We're doing uh, both sides, so it's okay. <laughs> Release, switch legs. So left forearm comes in 45 degrees. Bend your left knee, reach back with your right hand, grab the foot. So it's opposite hand and foot. If you did the wrong side, you have to repeat the opposite side. That's right, Phoebe. Now Phoebe, you should go back the other way. Yeah, left hand. Uh, Left hand to your right foot. Oh, right hand to your left foot then. Right hand to your left foot, yeah. Yeah, so Phoebe followed me and uh, Simon went the opposite direction. So it should be a right hand to your left foot as the second side for me. And you should be looking past your, uh, the shoulder of the arm that is reaching back. All right, release. Come back, elbows out, lower your chest, child's pose. And roll up. Camel pose variation. Let's take opposite hand and foot, right hand to your left foot. Reach up and back.
Then lift the torso up, switch hands. Left hand to left foot, right arm up and back. So first is opposite hand and foot, then we switched to same hand, same foot on the left leg. Release, go back to neutral, switch sides. Left hand to right foot, so opposite hand and foot first. Reach your right arm up and back. Come to neutral and switch hands. Right hand, right foot, left arm up and back. Release, walk your hands forward, down dog. Inhale, left heel up, left knee in toward the nose, pigeon. Land that shin to the floor. Hinge your right knee further back. Elongate, set up your pose. Then when you're ready, walk your hands forward, forearms down. Walk your hands back in. Uh, mermaid one, binding right hand to right foot, kick back, lift the left arm up. Release, mermaid two, grab the inside of the foot, slip the foot to the elbow crease, and bind. Dharmamitra's variation of mermaids, left hand, yogic toe lock to the right big toe behind you, right hand behind you to your half bind, and look past your right shoulder toward the back of the room. Release. Swing the right leg around. Intersect your right heel to your left ankle, left hand to the floor, right arm up, and fold forward over the right leg. So it's a, mar a marichiasana variation. If you want to bind, half bind with the right arm, or full bind, and then forward fold. Start to release, come back up, keep the legs, twist right, back to center, twist left, back to center, stepping on the right foot, you're going to come up into Revolve Dancer, right hand to your left foot, and lift. Stay on the right leg, stand up all the way, tree pose. Half lotus. Forward fold. Tiptoe balance. Stay into toe balance or your variations or half lotus, tripod headstand.
begin to finish up. And start to make your way back up. Then step the left foot down chair and hold it in chair. Thigh forward crow pose. All right, when you're ready, walk back, jump back, chaturanga up dog, down dog. Right leg up, draw the right knee in, pigeon. Set up your pose, elongate your spine, and when you're ready, make your way forward. Walk your hands back in, lifting your torso, mermaid one. Right hand to support, bend your left knee. Reach back with your left hand, grabbing the outside of the foot. Kick back for the bow effect. Once you're balanced, right arm up. Mermaid two, switch hand positions, hand to the inside of the foot. Slip that foot to your elbow crease. And reach back for the bind. Dharma Mitra's uh, mermaid, right yogic toe lock to the left big toe. Left hand behind you, lower back or your inner right thigh, and looking past your left shoulder behind you. Begin to release. Then swing the left leg around. Left heel uh, intersects with the right ankle. Right hand to the floor. Left arm is up. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Binding. Half bind or full bind. Release, take it back up, keep the legs, twist to your left. Back to center, counter twist to the right. Square back, revolve dancer standing on the left leg. So as you shift forward, left hand grabs to the right foot as you kick back. Lift your torso. Then start to stand up. Tree pose. Half lotus. Forward fold. Tiptoe balance. Mm -hmm. 
And so once again, once you get to tiptoe balance, you have your choice of inverting again or your variation of the tiptoe balance. Alrighty, beginning to finish up. Make your way back up to tree and then stepping a left foot down chair when you're ready. Resetting your knees and ankles, coming out of your half lotuses. And then dive forward, second crow pose. Crow pose variations of your choice. You can shift side to side for one-legged crow. You can uh, transition that, that to your tripod head stance again. Baby, don't give up, just hold it. You're getting the hang, right? Fight for it, just hold it. Now, I want you to think about shifting forward just a little bit more, but pressing into your fingers strongly to resist from falling forward. So as your body shifts forward just a little bit, press strongly. Aha. So you went a little bit too fast, too hard, right? So reduce that a little bit, but you're shifting forward. But resist with your fingers strongly. Hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, you see you're beginning to get that hang. So now you're feeling, I think, I think you're beginning to get the strength and you're feeling for the, for the balance, right? But don't give up because I see that you're getting there and then you trick yourself and then you fall back, right? Whether it's fear falling forward, I'm not sure. But if you shift forward a little bit more, that will lift your weight further forward. But at the same time, you need to resist with your fingers so that you don't fall forward, but you also resist back with your fingers. So your torso leaning forward, your fingers pressing down, resisting back. And that might give you enough of resistance to balance, right? Yeah, because this last couple of weeks, I see that you're beginning to kind of really feel for the hang. But again, I think there might be fear or something. So try that technique, okay? So you're almost there. All right, um, walk it back to down dog. All right, walk your feet forward toward your hands and take the seat down. And then gently lowering onto your back. Now keep the heels in, um, uh, feet mats with distance and let's windshield wipe your knees side to side and release your lower back a little bit more in your hips. Come back to center, extend the right leg out, draw the left knee in and hug the left knee in. Recline twisting, left arm out to a T and twist to the right. Take back to center, switch legs, switch arms, and hug the right knee in. The right arm out to a T or down alongside the hips, twist to your left. Draw back to center, hug both knees in. Once you're neutral and you're ready, step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward, Shavasana, find a relaxation.
beginning to draw your breath back in, moving your fingers and your toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions. And rolling over to the right side and come up to comfortable cross-legged. Let's take a non-dominant shin on top. Reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep. And let the neck be free. In of our own. Um, hands together in prayer, bowing forward, sealing in the practice. You know, come up. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here this morning. And thank you for sharing your practice with me. My name is Stephen Chang, coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through ubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video, as well as my website, simhayoga.com. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.